Today we're working on the Jeep. We're gonna get this thing into the shop, get these bump stops installed, and then we can see how they do off-road. Good morning, Casey. Good morning. It's time to wake up. Oh, my thumb's all fucked up. See? It's a wee bit dangerous. And then I gotta stick my fingers in my head in there. Now what we go and do is, now I have to stick my fingers in between the spring and walk it up because I don't feel like dropping the whole coil. You know, I had my other Jeep fall on me one time. I almost died, Casey. I think it's in on the way, but we'll uh, drop this down and check it again. That's we scary. did a good job. It's scary. The dingus is in. The old dingle dangle. Bing bang! Scrolling. Scrolling. Scrolling for bitches. We. We're a fucking big boy now, Dad. It's about average. Not the length, the number reading on it. Oh, yeah. Half inch. Yeah. We're gonna jack this thing off, I mean up. It just starts. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you gas me up like all these gay dudes on my Instagram DMs? Sorry. I'm edging to this. That's not what I was talking about. I'm talking about actual gay guys. You're scaring me. Yeah, it's my phone number is 541 531. Now they're gonna call every number <laughs> that starts at 531 until they find you. Well, you don't have to put it in the fucking video. <laughs> it's too late, I already did. What? It's a good thing you don't edit. I yeah. Like our videos will be much more raunchier, bro. <laughs> I cut out a lot of nasty. Oh, I bet. We say some, some shit you gotta pay for. Yeah, yeah, go to my Patreon and you can see all the nasty shit we actually say. We got the front ones in. Really wasn't too bad, just super sketchy. Technically, the the actual bump stop didn't require tools, but it did require tools elsewise. So, bro, I'm so sick of these notifications that I've been getting. Dude, I know. So and so just posted this. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> fuck off with that shit. Now we just got to put the back one in. This one, super easy to install. Just fucking. Burp, and that's it. So, I'm gonna go down here. Hold on. Oh, great. Find a hole. Can you hand me that other bolt? No. Where the fuck? Do you even have it? I'm just trying to hold my hand. And that's it. It's got a pound of fucking dirt in my eye. Boom! Oh shit! Oh, we're gonna be jumping that. We should probably probably not worry about it. Just close the hood. I'm nervous. Why? I'd say if you break it, I'd just leave you there. What the fuck? Kitchen. Well, we're out here getting ready to test these things out. Like I said earlier, we're gonna have a hell of a time getting these things actually bottom out, just because this truck is lifted quite a bit. You can see I'm over six foot tall. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm five eight, five seven, five seven with boots. This is a pretty tall truck and it's got a lot of suspension travel. I don't know, we're gonna try to flex out on some of these rocks around here, see if we can get it to articulate enough to see what kind of impacts those will take. I think we're just gonna jump it. We're gonna jump the Jeep and pray for me, please. It's gonna hurt my whole body. It's pretty busy out here today. People all over the place today. It's also gonna be a little demo for this guy. I'll tell you right now, it was fucking loud as shit coming out here. I don't think it's gonna last very long, but whatever. I'm gonna 
redesign that mount because I've 3D printed that. I'm pretty cool, so. Check out that back one real quick. Yeah, you are. I'm really scared right now because we're about to jump the Jeep. I'm so scared right now. I'm so fucking scared right now. It's not a very big jump, but for a piece of shit Jeep that has only ever been jumped once in its life, it's going to be pretty scary. I'm going to put my helmet on, my special boy helmet, and we're going to fucking launch this thing. Just strapping up. nervous. better oh yeah it felt better that was a good one uh yeah that's... i couldn't hold back my emotions <laughs> i was like oh i hit my fucking head on the roof oh shit i was like <laughs> we'll see it in the gopro yeah. <laughs> everybody's out here with side by sides and atvs and dirt bikes i haven't seen one person jump their shit i did break my fucking mirror though I don't think it's going to go back on. What in the fuck? We'll just save that guy for later. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't fucking eat my own teeth, so the bump stops did decent. I didn't think we were going to make it to the first jump, let alone do three of them in a row. So, I don't know. It's pretty good. These guys saw it. They thought it was pretty fucking great. I think, uh, what time is it? 
55. Time to go party. Time to go party. Happy birthday, Dilly. Dilly. Perry particles. Perry parts. Perry particles. Perry the platypus. Peter Piper picked a peck a pick a peck a peck a peck Peckers? <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of Harry Gots! <laughs> what are we sending? It. What's it? It. You just, you send it. Where? Take it and send it. I don't understand it. Like this. Oh! Ow, that's my sore one. Wait, let me even them it out. Yeah, come on. Oh! Ah! He actually hit me too. It was a fucked up thing. Yeah, oh yeah, I beat my camera. <laughs> After reviewing the footage for editing, I think what we need to do is take this thing out again. I think we need to adjust this front axle. I think it's sitting in there a little cattywampus. So I think I need to adjust the linkages to make this thing actually square and bring the axle forward just a hair. That way it's sitting correctly in the spring bucket. You can kind of see how far forward that keeper is sitting in there. This whole axle on this side needs to go forward. The other side is just about right where it needs to be, but I need to adjust the linkages on the other side because this spring, you can see it's all S-curved. So I'm gonna get this one pushed forward, check the track bar, check the other side, make sure everything's square. And once I do that, I think we'll be ready to test this thing out again. It did pretty good. It was kind of hard to see what impact the bump stops actually had in the ride quality and the, the landing quality because of the axle being off in its placement. We will get a nice before and after shot of what it is like without the bump stops and with the bump stops. So we're gonna get these correctly installed. I also think we installed the bump stops upside down because they fell right out. So we're gonna reinstall those properly, move this axle, and then just go jump it again. Cause fuck it, why not? It did it once, well it did it three times. So it could probably do it like six or eight more times before I really fuck something up. We're just gonna try it again, full send. Let's do it. See you in the next video. Also, back there you get a little sneak preview of what we gotta load it up on. It needs a few more things before it's ready for the next video. Because as you can see, it's leaking oil like a sieve out of this. I just need to put new valve cover gaskets on both sides, which I have. And then it still needs its oil change. It needs some decals on that. And we gotta get the correct fuel lines for this in here. And once we get the fuel and the oil leaking problem figured out, we're taking this bad boy out to the dunes for its maiden voyage.